welcome back to today's video. So I'm just going to take you along with me and you can spend the day with me. I've got a lovely headband on because it's absolutely freezing. It's like two degrees right now. The sun has come out, so it makes it a little bit better. My hands are freezing. I should wear gloves, but I just never can do anything in gloves. And it's icy everywhere. So yeah, spend the day with me. His nibbles. Yes, hello. Um, I'm trying to grow his hair out. So he's got lovely long hair here, but not so great hair back here. So I've cut that all short and hopefully I can regrow it out. And he's not having necks on his rug now, so hopefully that works. Here's a little baby amaretto. Yeah. You're four this month, little baby. You are. You are. Yeah. Come here. Come here. So it has been going down to like minus three at night, so I've had to proper rug them up because Nebo hasn't got a very thick coat as he's usually being clipped. But he does need to be re clipped because I like to keep re clipping him like every few months, but I've just sort of left him because it's too cold. I don't want to get too cold. I'm slide this duvet off of you. Having a bit of a walk about. There we go. It's been a little bit spooky lately, but I think it's because I have been feeling him speedy big. And I think it's sort of losing his head a little bit. Just gonna pop this fleece back on him. Just because he goes up in the top field and it is very windy and it's freezing up there. So I'm gonna keep that on him. And I've been trying really hard not to use neck rugs on him. Go. Nib nibs. Good boy. It's just been going down so cold at the moment, and you can just see how icy the, the floor is and the roads because we only have hacking here. We don't have the luxury of having an arena and a school. So most of our training and fitness just is hacking. And I do all my like training, get them in the outline and making sure they're going forward and making sure they're listening to me with their different transitions. Everything I do is in hacking. So there's no excuse if you have not got an arena, 
Look, we've got we've got a little sunshine tour champion out of just a happy hacker. <laughs> so definitely need to get to school though, uh, just because I don't think I can go for another winter. Not being able to hack really because now it's frozen. So, yeah, this is his little field up here. This is where Malegro was when he was a stallion. Lovely grass. Are you lucky boy? My hands are like ice when I tell you. Go on then, Bubba. Oh, so I'll just leave his head collar and leave right down there. There he goes. Put the electric on. But he's gone out there on his own with no other horses. And he's just such a good boy. He has got Anna boy, see there are tyrants all the way over there. But I don't think he's clocked them yet. <laughs> and then we've got Malegro coming up and coming in here, which mum has just gone and got him. You can see him there. Baby Malegro. Um, and then we've got Danny going next door. So we've got a little full house around here. So just back at the yard now and I have got an order from Naked Horse so this is not sponsored in any way this is just my true opinion of what I thought of it so I am now on three months of using it and I know there's some mixed reviews on Facebook and the internet saying um oh, I don't really think it's that great well I've had Amaretto on it for three months now and I think it's absolutely amazing I signed up to their three month subscription and I think you get a little bit cheaper but now, yeah, so I have been using it and I think it's really good. And I can show you proof of that in here. Uh, this is one of the empty bottles from last month. And this is a new bottle. You do get a, you can get a free pump, but I've got an old one, so I'm just gonna put that back on it. But, um, but yeah, I think it's really good. So I'm putting that back on it. Nebo is always on his Summer Hill supplements. Joint and mobility, so honestly, very good. Now, I've got to get little baby Amaretto ready for the field, don't we? She probably moved, so I'm sorry for the terrible angle. Right, let's clip here a little I just got to do our leg wraps. <clears throat> Put you in the field, Mrs. But look at that sun that's come out, but it's still absolutely freezing. There's just ice everywhere. So we have to be a little bit careful, haven't we, Mrs. Going to the field. There she is. Got her hay. I'm now just going to go down and start mucking the liveries out.
Bitsy stable all done. And now, off to go do my own. Mark out the rest. I've just got to quickly do the ponies' feed. So, ponies are currently on this Denji High Five Molasses Free. Um, so, yeah, they just get sort of half a scoop each of this. And because they're not really in work, but this is the amount they sort of get. And it does have little nuts in it also, so they just get chaff basically because it's got little nuts in there also. So, they just go in there all ready for tonight so once all the ponies are mucked out i just make sure the hallway is all clean and swept i just sweep outside in the courtyard and make sure that's all clean done a very good job there's still little bits there it's frozen to the floor so i can't sweep it up it is absolutely freezing i did have a navy one of these and i don't know where i put it but i'm just gonna put this one on so i'm just mucking out nebo this is he's stable he's very wet here so i've took all the wet out and yeah now i just gotta bring it all down and then sort of stay well. He has quite a lot of hay nets in his stable at the moment because obviously he had the morning one this morning and he had a hay net last night but he had a little bit left in other hay nets so I just left it in there. So he has actually three hay nets in here so I need to take them out. But um, I won't throw this hair away, I'll just add to it. So you can see he's got quite a bit here from his morning hay net so I'll just add that to there. And he's also his hay net last night. He doesn't really eat too much that like he's not greedy so nice little slope for the muck heap and we've sort of made a little straw bow little place for it to go so i've just sort of left a fork there shoveled it up and then yeah let's take it back and fill it up with straw
making my leg grow around to the new block because he's actually getting ridden at the moment so we get broke him in and yeah we're, we're in the stages of breaking him i know we sort of sat on him in the summer but then he got turned away so now he is three and a half and yeah he needs to start his riding career here he is little legs um so what we've done on him at the moment i can insert some videos we've sort of just took him out we were long reining him because he's used to going in a cart so it's absolutely fabulous at that and then then i said let's get on him i sat on him and just good girl mum sort of just led us and we went for a little walk the problem with him is he doesn't really want to move forward off the leg obviously where he's a youngster and he's been taught in a cart so i think He's always been taught with the hands and reins and not with leg. So mum decided to tell me to carry a, a schooling whip side by side and sort of just give him a little tap, not like a whack, but just a tiny little tap when I use my leg because obviously he's used to it. And he was going forward, so then I didn't really need to use it. But honestly, he's just good as gold. So I think he's going to get ridden at some point today. So we're just tacking up the boys. So mum's gonna ride an Ebo. She's just put her stirrups and stuff on my saddle and clearing up all his duvet and rugs <laughs> that he has on overnight. But yeah, so mum's gonna ride an Ebo and then I'm gonna follow behind on my leg grow. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> if he's good. So I've just got my leg grow stuff here. Makes it mum's easy got if you can stuff. Yeah, so we're just trying to get two done at once and then I think we might do Danny and Honey next. Yeah. So then they can just go out together because we're trying to separate honey and leg grow just because he's getting a little bit fruity with her where he's spending a lot of time with her. So yeah, let's go tuck him up. Take all these layers of clothing off because I'm sweating. <laughs> so many layers on. I've literally got this another top. I've got pajama top on and then a base layer. <laughs> Jacket which I wear on the youngsters just in case. Then all I need to do now is put my boots on. Take that off so I'm a little bit. He's knocking the barrel over. Now, just need to get my boots. Right, so the boys have just been put in the field. I'm now just walking round to the tea room because mum said there's a coffee and a hot chocolate round there for me and mum. And then I'll go walk round to Honey because now we're going to get on Honey and Danny. Just doesn't stop, does it? Here they are. Just got to take them round now. So we're now around here with little honey buns. Yeah, she's getting a bit little licky because she's had carrots. She's had carrots, haven't you? Yes, she's had carrots.
straight at the moment, but I can't buy a pair of scissors. Dressage saddle pad. Doesn't matter. Out with Honey and Dan. Honey just walks quicker than everyone else. She walks like she's on a mission. quit myself before I shoot up in the air. Mum's off. Just got back from our ride, they were both really good. And I'm just now loading the tack into the wheelbarrow, just so. Like we can just wheel it round and it's just easier. Sorry for the bad lighting. This is what we'll have to do.
cuts out, they just need a little skip out for the bedding. But yeah, so now I'm just going to go and grab some hay. Princess, do you want to come in? It's a bit cold, isn't it? They've been out since eight, so and it's cold and it's icy and wet. Yeah, it's not nice, is it? I want to come in. And Moretto's all in. Are you going to? Yeah. Davis is back in. Just gonna give these my little brush. <laughs> 